Now this is another band I've had for donkey years. Never been able to identify it. Um, people that have seen it have been undecided whether it's right or not. And the thing is though, when they say it's not right, they've always asked me to sell it to them for money. And you think to yourself, hang on a minute. On one hand, you're telling me it's not right. But on the other hand, you're offering to purchase it from me. So there must be something about it that I've never been able to find out. Um, it's a red felt band. To all intents and purposes, without the skull in it, it looks like a, an SS or a Nazi party armband. But the thing is, neither the SS or the Nazi party have this black outer edge to the white circle. And this one has a red skull embroidered directly to the middle. Now, <clears throat> the way it's been made is the what looks like the black edge is in fact one complete circle of black felt. On top of this is a white cloth circle which is like it's kind of got a bit of a texture to it embroidered to the white circle is a one piece fabric swastika so when the swastika has been embroidered onto the white circle before the swastika and the circle has been applied to the black circle the skull has been embroidered through the swastika and through the white circle so although it looks cheap and nasty there's been a bit of quality about it and i honestly do not know why so i don't know the purpose of it whether it's some kind of special purpose ss um death said unit concentration camp i do not know i can't find anything about it and within within recent years when you type in to your to your internet search something like world war ii german red skull it puts up that red skull character in the C captain america movie so that's what's happening within recent years so i can't find anything about it at all but as I say, the, the, the construction, I mean the band itself, it's nothing, it's, it's just felt. But the way that's being constructed is very interesting. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there's, you see there's, there's, there's a texture to the white and an edge to the white circle. And the, the swastika is a one piece fabric thing with this raised edging and the skull has been embroidered directly onto the swastika and through the white surface and then when that's been embroidered through the surface of the white the white circle has been stitched to a complete black circle and the black circle is stitched to the band and that's what holds it all onto the the red band so it's a weird, a weird setup, as you can see. But I must admit, I have not got a clue. Something I've owned since the seventies, but I'm afraid, as yet unidentified. I've typed all sorts of, um, all sorts of possible methods and titles into into an internet search you know a swastika armband with skull swastika totem kopf any 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 type of connotation i've done it and i can't find anything about it at all but people that have actually seen it and handled it they've gone well i don't know but do you want to sell it and you think well on one hand you're dissing it as a piece of crap and on the other hand you're offering to buy it from me so there must be something something there but i admit no idea what it is 
Have you seen one? Can you put an identification to it? Have a go. But me? No idea. I've had this now. What? 70, 80, 90, 2000, 20, 40 years. Numerous people have tried to buy it. They've said it's not right. But they've offered me cash for it. And you think, well, there's something not right there. If you're offering to buy me, buy cash for what you call, on one hand is a piece of shit. And on the other hand, you're offering me money for it. So there must be something there, but as yet, I've had no description with it. It's just been in the frame with all the other armbands, and I must admit, so far, I admit defeat. So there it is, an unidentified armband of some description. Bye for now.